Salis returned to unlock the church. Taking his place amongst the pews, he watched and waited. On the stroke of seven, the door swung open and the hooded figure entered. This time the door closed with a bang. The noise aroused another, the beating of hideous wings, first up in the rafters and then down on the ground. The figure waited at one end of the aisle while, around the altar, the gargoyle emerged. Salis froze in his seat, sweat breaking out on his forehead. The gargoyle saw Salis first, and, opening its wings, glided silently over to where he was sitting, landing on the pew in front, its great head leaning down towards the little verger, who struggled to get away. Remain seated, called the hooded figure. Looking around, the gargoyle saw the figure, opened its mouth, and laughed in a high-pitched, childish voice. Salis turned to the figure and cried out in terror. Before him stood a man, dressed in intricate gold and silver armour with a long white cloak. Handsome with chiselled features and blonde shoulder-length hair. This was the hooded figure transformed, its wide, searching eyes looking straight at its black adversary. The gargoyle leapt from the pew and landed in the middle of the aisle, ready to advance on the golden man. But it stopped, abruptly, and hissed. In a single flowing movement, the man sprouted huge white feathered wings and drew a gleaming sword from its richly adorned scabbard, pointing it at the beast. As if frozen to the spot, the gargoyle cackled and ranted at the golden man, unable to attack. The man stepped forward and plunged the sword into the creature's chest. The gargoyle died instantly, flopping to the stone floor its wings twitching and writhing. Without looking at Salis, the avenging angel put one foot on the gargoyle's body and cut the head off. Salis was not sweating anymore, still and mute in the pew, as if receiving communion, he didn't move an inch as the glittering armoured avenger came towards him. My work is done. My task is over. Now you will find rest, the man told Salis, enfolding him in his wings. Salis fainted. <laughs>